Hey everybody, Lee's back in the kitchen and I am going to try to make some French bread. I've never done it, so follow me along. We'll see what happens. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Alright, so I brought my KitchenAid mixer over to my other side of the kitchen, and in doing that, I broke a coffee mug that was hanging, and when I slid the mixer over, it hit the coffee mug. So I think I'm going to keep my mixer over here, and it kind of works out because now my air fryer isn't in front of my plate rack. So we're going to add one and one thirds cup of warm water into this mixing bowl, two and one quarter tablespoons of yeast and I don't know how much is in a pack because I don't use them that often so we're going to I'm going to measure it out it's probably it's supposed to be two and one quarter teaspoon so we will find the right measuring spoon for that okay this is two this is one and let me find the quarter measuring I gotta find another way to store these measuring spoons. I'm working slowly on organizing things. I just did my DVDs and uh, my recipe book. So here is one. Two, and I'm thinking this is a quarter. So maybe each pouch is a quarter. Huh? close to it. Maybe I didn't measure properly. Okay. And we're going to add brown sugar. It says brown sugar. Huh. These are crusty Italian bread, but it says, it says one tablespoon of brown sugar. All right. We'll do that. So we'll add that in there. See what happens. We have to let it, we have to stir it and let it foam up. So I'm stirring it right now. And we have to let it sit and foam up. that's brown sugar if that's yeast but we're gonna let that foam up it says to stir and let stand for a few minutes until it starts to bubble and foam I pulled these out of um, my freezer I don't know how long they were in there or I don't know these say December of 2022 they expired so I'm going to let that foam and I'll be back. Okay, I just added one and a half teaspoons of olive oil, it says here. And now we're going to add salt, which of course I don't have my salt out. So we are going to add one and a half teaspoons of salt. So let me find my one teaspoon. Use this. So I need three of these because this is a half. That's one, so that's a half. That's one. Ah, let me see here. Let 
and there's a half. So one and a half. <sighs> not prepared, guys. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not the best at breads. I haven't mastered that yet. Okay. Add the olive oil and salt. Mix and add flour gradually. So we're going to mix that up. You want to add enough that the dough comes away from the sides of the bowl. So let me get my dough hook on here. Sorry, I'm not prepared, but I'm not professional. I'm not a professional bread person at all. I'm going to use bread flour because I have it and I want to use it up and it calls for four cups. So we're going to start with a cup. Mix and add the flour gradually. So, I'm going to lock it into place. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to slowly add in the flour. my guard on here. I'm telling you, I'm not the best when it comes to baking. So that's two, and it calls for four cups. So we're going to just add it gradually until it starts coming off the side. One moment, please. So it's starting to come off the side. And I can feel it slugging it. So I'm going to leave it at that amount of flour. Maybe I'll put an extra half a cup, but I don't want to overdo it. not a good bread maker people I am definitely not because I can't seem to get it as lovely as everyone else on, on the videos that I watch it comes out beautiful but I can't ever get it it just never looks beautiful to me so we'll see we shall see all right I'll bring you back all right so we're gonna get this off I'm so not a baker for bread anyway. I'm used to things in a box or, you know, cakes, brownies, cookies. But it's sticky. Cover and let dough rise until doubled for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to take that dough hook off. Get it. Washing my hands one moment, please. I'm one person in here, so I don't want to be touching my phone with my kind of crappy hands. All right. You want to mix it with the dough hook for a few minutes. I did that. Cover and let the dough rise until doubled about 30 minutes. All right. So we're going to take this off and we're going to put it in the oven with the light on and see if it rises. All right, it has risen. So what we're going to do now is we're going to punch down the dough. And I don't have one of those scrapers, so 
going to use this. We're going to get this off the side. That's next on my list is buying one of those bread scrapers that everybody uses. We're going to divide it and form into two loaves. And then we're going to cover with a damp cloth and let rise again. Really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm not a bread maker. I'm just trying to pull it out. Usually they put olive oil, but this one's not saying that. So, I don't know. I'm getting it out very easy, guys. There it goes. Let me go get the flour. Oh, I got the wrong one. All right, let me get the flour. I'm not doing too well here. I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't say, it just says, Punch down and divide into two loaves, so. But look at how sticky my hands are. So we're gonna get it off here. It's not sticking so bad that I can't. But I should have took my rings off, huh? This is the thing, I don't know much about bread making to be honest, so. Now we're gonna break it into two loaves. So I'm gonna cut it into two loaves and I don't have, I'm just gonna use a knife. Knife is as good as anything. I know people use those cutters and all that, but. I'm gonna form it into I don't really know what I'm doing, guys, so. I don't want it too thin. So we're gonna lay it on here. Pull them into two loaves. It says to cover with a damp cloth. Look at my towel. This is the one I burnt on the stove. It's clean. I washed it. And I, I got it just a little wet. It's not a lot wet. But we're going to lay it on there and put this back in the oven with the light on for... Uh, till it's doubled. So I'll put it in for another 30 minutes. And we'll be back. All right, they rose. They rose. So what we're going to do now is I took an egg and some water, and I beat it up. And we're going to take a very sharp knife. So I'm going to sharpen my knife real quick. My parents had one of these, and I love it. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a single cut down the middle. Just down the middle.
I don't know if this is working right, but I'm making this cut. Now we're going to take one cup of hot, hot water, really hot water. <coughs> That's why I've been letting my water run. And we're going to put it in a shallow pan. I'm going to add a little more in case the water runs out. Okay, and we're going to take this water and we're going to put it on the bottom rack in the oven. Okay. It's supposed to make the crust get nice and crusty. Um, now I had me make brush these. So we're gonna take a brush. I got a brush here. I bought a new brush, guys. I got one with smaller. So we're going to take that, we're going to brush these loaves with the egg, egg mixture, it says make, brush the risen loaves with the egg mixture, so that's what I'm doing. Making sure it's all wet. Now, when I pull these out of the oven, they were sticking together. I had to unstick them. Okay, the oven is preheated. 375 degrees. And I'm gonna check the oven and make sure there's always water in there. You don't want the water to evaporate. We're gonna stick those in here and 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put the timer on 25. And I got crud on my knobs, on my buttons. So I'm gonna wipe those off and we will bring you back when it is done. All right. Look at that. <gasps> they did touch a little. And they're not as thick as I wanted them. I wanted them to be like taller. I probably should have made them thinner and they would have puffed out taller but I'm gonna let this cool and we'll bring you back all right so I started cutting before I look at that mmm oh my god <laughs> let me go get some butter my goodness Mm -mm -mm. It cooled down. Look at that. Sorry for the lighting, guys. Mm -mm -mm. This is fabulous. Mmm. <laughs> I would have liked it a little bit higher, but I have to practice because I'm not, I don't make bread. I just, I've only done it a handful of times, and I did one was in the bread maker when I made the cinnamon raisin. Oh my God. Mm. This is a little end piece. But I'm going to eat it. 
And then I'm going to step away from the bread. Because that's a lot of carbs. And I just had the lunch because it was 12 o'clock. I just, oh my God, this is so soft. Oh my God, it's so soft and yummy. I am going to keep this recipe. Oh my God, is this good. But I'm going to um keep this recipe. And I just had some leftover chicken pot pie from the other night. Mm. This is so good. This is the best I've ever made. Except for the raisin. I really like my raisin. But that was in the bread maker. This. Oh my god. Soft. Mm, mm, mm. This is how I like my bread. Go make some bread people.